Hello, it's Sarah from Hawk of the Hearts, and I'm here today to do a very long overdue tag. I was tagged by Sean the Book Maniac in his original tag for Alphabet Soup. And this is a book tag that he's doing where he's gonna be taking different letters of the alphabet in randomized order, just like you would get in, an, in a bowl of alphabet soup. And he's creating prompts around uh, letters of the alphabet. So the first one was A, and I'm going to do that one today. So the first prompt is A is for author. And so this is a good book by uh, an author whose first name and last name starts with the letter A. And I'm actually gonna use this twice. Um, so I'm saying Kate Atkinson is the author uh, and she's doing A God in Ruins. And so this covers me for prompt one and prompt two. Two is uh, a book with A in the title. And I'm currently doing a buddy read of, of this book. Uh, I, I really, really enjoyed Life After Life. And this is, in essence, it's a sequel-ish. Uh, it's a continuation of the family that was uh, first talked about in Life After Life. Uh, can't talk about this. My first check-in is uh, this week. So uh, stay tuned for more on, on this one. So that was prompt one and two. So prompt three is what's a book that made you angry? So I was very, I don't know if angry is the right word, but I was absolutely irritated and annoyed. I was annoyed by uh, Three Women by Lisa Tadeo. And I'm going to put a link to below to the full book review I did of, of that, uh, where I go in depth into um, ways that that book disappointed me. Okay, so next is what's a book that's awesome? Uh, so I've talked about this one as well. So this is Milkman, and this is by Anna Burns. So I will put a link to my in-depth review, so that way you get a pan review as well as a glowing review that I've done, so you get to see both, both sides if you're new to my channel. Um, so yeah, I just, I think everything that has been said about Milkman is is right on the money. It's a hard book, it's a challenging book, but it is so worth it and it is such a fantastic, fantastic piece of literature and the audiobook is phenomenal. Next up is um, A for Ah. And so this is, uh, pick a book whose title has at least three A's and bonus if it's more than three. So for this one, I have picked and let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five. And this is one that I read for Reading Rush. This is a novella, uh, an episode in the life of a landscape painter by Cesar Ayra. Just a wonderful, surprising little novella that I enjoyed very much. So I think that that gets that prompt. The next one is is talk about, A is for annoying, and this is a character that drove you up the wall. So when I was in Italy, uh, I found a copy of The Italian Girl by Iris Murdoch. Just so happened that I had never read any Murdoch, and someone had asked me about Iris Murdoch, asked me if I had ever read any of her work. I said no, and then the same, the same day, uh, they asked me on Facebook, the same day I'm in Italy and I'm looking around in, uh, in a bookstore and I see The Italian Girl, and I thought, oh, well, this is pretty... Uh, pretty serendipitous, so I'm going to grab it. Well, I ended up being so annoyed by every single one of those characters. They were just horrible people. <laughs> they were horrible, horrible people. I was, didn't, I didn't like any of them. And I don't have to like um, a character uh, to enjoy a book, but uh, but in this case, there wasn't anything to hold on to or anything I felt was was redeeming or interesting about how annoying they were. Uh, so that. That definitely takes care of that prompt. The next one is is number seven is A is for ambivalent. So I, I am still trying to process uh, my thoughts for Fleischman is in trouble. And this was by Taffy Brodesser Ackner. So she is, so this is a brand new book, just came out. And I don't think I'm the target person for it because I'm not a fan of the family domestic dramas. I mean, and you know, family, if it's multi-generational, yes. Family in the kind of nuclear family, I, 
uh, they, they don't always do it for me. Uh, and so this, a man who's getting in the process of getting divorced and he's newly liberated by all this uh, ability to date through apps and what that opens up for his sex life and all the new things that, that have happened since he's been married. And, and his wife has dis drops the kids off and then disappears. And so he's kind of dealing with, with all this. And this is told through a third party who is an old friend of his who's kind of observing and making, uh, kind of looking at, at the vista. Uh, I, I will admit that I couldn't figure out why was this such a good book. The last portion of it tied it all together uh, and not from the characters, but I felt like there was a very heavy voiceover uh, that was kind of stamped at the, at the end uh, that had a really strong declaration of what women are expected to do uh, and how women are expected to change and how they're expected to be. Uh, in the world and and specifically in marriage that I found very, very interesting. But I don't know if that was enough to redeem the entire book for me. Uh, so that's where I'm ambivalent. I've reached out to a couple of people and, and asked them, like wh wh people who I respect their reading, like, what was it that drew you in? Um, and and I think I think that's where I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of left where uh, that piece was incredibly interesting and wish that I've had more of it threaded through the book. Okay, the next one is A. It's A is for anticipation. And it's a book or new release that you're very much looking forward to reading. Uh, so I, I have really enjoyed some of Ruth Ware's books. Uh, I really liked The Death of Mrs. West, Westaway. Yeah, Mrs. Mrs. Westway. And that one, I just love the mix of tarot and the spooky, and the spooky house and the, the will and uh, the person who may be family, may not be family. All of those kind of gothic elements really, really pull me in, uh, especially in that, that type of book. And so I really am looking forward to seeing what she does next. And her next book is going to be called The Turn of the Key. So uh, I think there's a spooky house in it as well. So we'll see. I don't like horror and I don't like, I don't particularly like thrillers that, that um, really try to scare you. Uh, I, you know, life is scary enough. <laughs> so, so I try to stay away from, from a lot of that, but I do, I do like a little bit of suspense and I definitely like the, the, the setups with the, with the environments and all of that. Uh, okay. Next up is uh, number nine. What, a is for actually, and this is a book that you didn't expect to like, but did. Uh, so I, this was, I liked it a lot more than I thought I was going to. So I think I've mentioned before that I'm, I'm always nervous about short stories. Uh, I don't, sometimes they're a little too clever or a little too packed, too much of a punch too quickly. And I just, I feel jarred, but I read a short story collection recently. And I talked about it in one of my uh, week of reading videos. Uh, and it was Look How Happy You Are Making Me. And it's a, a st short story collection by Polly Rosenbrake. And I, I thought I'd be interested in, it because of the sub interested in it because of the subject matter, which was motherhood and um, different, different ex explorations of that, including significant uh, ambivalence. And I, and I was right, I really, really enjoyed it. And so I, I was surprised at, at the level of enjoyment that I had with it. Uh, and okay, so that is number nine. Number 10 is A is for affected. And it says, uh, what was a character book or writer that you feel is pretentious? Oh, this is good. Okay, I, I oh, this is, some people are gonna hate me, but I'm just gonna say it. I thought that uh, that On Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous by Ocean Vuong was pretty pretentious. Uh, and, and I say that with all, all the sadness because I really wanted to love it. Uh, it just, it, it, not only did it not work for me, it's in retrospect, uh, it just, it, it felt like it was messy purposefully. Uh, and I think that I think that his beautiful poetic, uh, his poetic past and his, and his, he had, there were, there were scenes that were really great, but the way it was strung together and, and the whole setup and everything was just, was just too, it was too much affected is the, is the right word. So I'll, I'll leave it there. 
Okay, the next is, um, is A is for how's it going, A. Very clever, Sean. So Sean's from Canada, and he's a Canadian living in Japan. And so uh, he says, a book that you liked by a Canadian writer or one that you want to read. And so I am, I almost picked this for the anticipation, then I realized that it works really well for this one more so. And and it's uh, the newest Louise Penny book is coming out. And so she is a Canadian writer and she writes a series um, that the Inspector Gamache series, uh, Chief Inspector Gamache. And he, and it is just a great series. Um, the setting is fantastic. It's liter it's, it's literate, um, literary, uh, it's beautifully paced. It's just, a, it's one of those that you, you slow down as you read it. it it's not a thriller. The pacing is not, uh, is not overwhelming. It's not meant to race you through it. Uh, it's meditative and it's calming and it's soothing and, and it has heart. And I, and I just really, and I just really like the series. It's a, perfect balm and palate cleanser, especially if you've read something upsetting or the world is kind of getting to you. I found they find that Louise Penny books really help me kind of recenter myself. So I am quite thrilled uh, to know that there's another, the newest one's coming out. It's called A Better Man and, it, and it's coming out this month. And so I literally cannot wait for that to, for that to arrive. Okay, so number 12 is A is for Anticlimactic. And so this is a book that you thought fizzled out at the end. And so sad to say, uh, I did a fantastic buddy read with Olive and also um, Jacqueline, and I'll put links to their to their channels below. And we read Chintu together, and Chintu just had so much promise, and just it just didn't hold together and fizzled out. And uh, I know Sean will say it fizzled out earlier than at the end because <laughs> he was an early bail to this. Uh, I stuck it out longer and. Um, found some redeeming scenes, some redeeming aspects of it. It's multi-generational story told in Uganda from you. It is in Uganda and it's for Ugandans. So this is recently done in translation. So, so we all acknowledge that some of this is probably just not even for us as American readers um, or Western readers since uh, Jacqueline is I guess, can we call you, can we say Western, Jacqueline, when you actually are from Australia? Well, you are in Texas now, so maybe that's, maybe that's okay. Uh, but for readers outside of, of Uganda, this, um, maybe this, this makes much, it comes together more fully and, re and realistically for them than it did for us. So that was G2. Unfortunately, and then the last is tag, and I'm going to tag anyone who wants to do this. So thank you, Sean, so much. This was really fun. So sorry it took so long to get it done, but done now. I can, ch I can check it off the list. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.